Hello and welcome back to RX Garage. My name is Kai and this is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. In today's video we're going to be installing the ARB twin air compressor as well as the manifold kit and we're going to be using a bracket from Rogue Off-Road to be able to mount it under the hood. We'll also use a switch from CH 4x4 We'll mount everything right up here, just behind the airbox. We'll be using two available holes over there, as well as the stud down there, and the bracket up here. Please note, I'm not a licensed mechanic or an engineer. I just want to share some information that I've learned and show how I take care of my truck. Let's start by unpacking what do we have here. The compressor comes with a manual and a mounting sheet if you need to drill holes. We won't be needing this as we have the predetermined holes on the bracket. air compressor with all the wiring ready to be plugged in. And then we have a box with all the hardware and wiring that's needed. We have the two air intakes, air filters, we have some hardware that comes with it to mount the air compressor to the holes, or in this case the bracket, and this is the ARB switch, it's quite a nice switch, it just doesn't match the other switches, the OEM style switches. Also have some wiring harnesses. And the large one is to wire the air compressor to the battery for power. And the smaller cable is to be able to wire the switches up for the air compressor. For the manifold kit, Again, have some instructions. We have the manifold. We've got the braided air hose to connect the manifold to the air compressor. And then we have some hardware for all of that. the bracket from Rogue Off Road. It will mount with this the passenger side and this comes to the cab. We'll have the compressor on this side and the manifold over here. The way that all of this will fit in here is this bracket piece at the bottom slides onto the stud over here and the two holes up here Ooh. Be mounted over here with the provided hardware so it will all slide in and sit like that and then there's a bracket that attaches to this side that hooks in underneath this bolt so we'll have the air compressor here and the manifold over here and we'll run the wiring along the top here to the battery and inside the cab we'll mount the air compressor over here, mounting it towards the cab as far as possible to make sure we have enough clearance for the air filters and for the actual air intake box over here. Before we look at mounting the air compressor, let's have a look at the wiring. 
as I mentioned, there are two pieces, the larger wire that's used to hardwire the compressor to the battery that's used through this connector here and this one and then the small wire connector here is used to control for the switch to turn on and off the compressor. So this is the small cable that plugs into the back of the air compressor. Uh, it's quite long and it runs along up to a splice here. These connectors break off and they can be used for air lockers, for isolators, for the air lockers. And then this goes all the way along and comes up to these four end pieces here that once you get them through the firewall you can connect them into the switch and that switch connects into here and then you can have your three different switches for air lockers and for the air compressor and then we need to connect these up to the power and ground. However, I will not be using this piece. I will be taking out the diode just to keep the direction of the electrical flow. And then I will be only using the purple cable in here to be able to turn on and off the compressor. I am just taping up the connectors for the solenoids for the lockers. I will not be using them at this time, but I want to keep them on here if I ever need them in the future. And there we have those taped off. Air compressor to the bracket. We'll flip it upside down. This side is, will be facing forward, that side will be facing the cab. So with our bracket, this side is facing forward, this side is facing the cab. So we'll flip it over. We want to have the mount as far this way as possible. So we want to have mount, use two mounting holes here and two over here. We'll bring it out until the first holes line up over here and then we'll take the provided hardware with a bolt we've got a bolt we've got a washer and a split ring washer so we'll first put the split ring washer on the bolt and then we'll put the washer over and then we'll go in like that and tighten them for now so we can see how we can mount the rest next up we have our manifold this will mount over here and as close to the compressor as possible. Sorry about the background noise. So again we'll use the provided hardware. In this case we have two bolts and some nuts, some nylock in them. In this case, we'll mount the bolts coming from the bottom. It looks like the openings are quite large, so we'll find some washers so we can use. So I was able to find some washers lying around that will be able to work. So we'll keep 
go with that. So we'll thread the bolt through here, and then we'll come through the bracket, we'll use our washer, and then our nylon nut. Same thing on this side, come through with the bolt, put the washer on, And the bolts are all 10 millimeters. Look, lines up nicely over here. We don't want the manifold to be touching, so we just want to slide it back slightly. Give ourselves enough room on this side to be able to work when we're installing the bracket. So we'll slide it about halfway down. We have the manifold in place. We won't tighten this down yet because we still need to plumb in our hose here. Okay, so now that we have these mounted on the bracket, we can go ahead and connect them up using the provided braided hose mounted up like that to provide clearance for the hood to get these in we'll mount two of these pieces that come with the manifold one in here one over here and then the braided hose will be able to fit right on that to make sure there's a good seal We'll use some PTFE tape to seal this off. I usually just do one to two layers. That's all that's usually needed. And then from there, you can thread it into the manifold. side. Instructions don't specifically call out to add tape, but I'll just add one layer just in case. Try not to get any on the flange so that that can seal itself fairly well.
see how that holds. And if there's any air leaks, we might have to tighten that up some more. Go ahead and mount this on here as well. So this one will need a 19 millimeter. that are going to go over the bracket here and tighten that down. We have one washer and one bolt that are going to go in here where the bracket can slide over so we'll get those inserted. And then the same one here but this one will need to go through the hole so we'll place those here to get ready. Now we'll loosen up these bolts here to be able to slide the other bracket underneath there. Go ahead and test fit. So now we've tightened up all the bolts, we've tightened the nut at the bottom there, we've tightened the bolt that goes into the side there, and over there, and there. Two bolts on this side were tightened as well. Now we can go ahead and plug in our wires, back of the air compressor and then run them along the firewall and then we'll mount up the wires here to the battery and run the, the wire through the firewall. Okay, we have the compressor fully installed. Everything is mounted up and wired up. Compressor is over here. We've got the manifold nicely over here. This is just the hose that I use to air up. I'll demonstrate how we use it in a second. Um, everything is nice and tight. We've got the air filters on. See here the cable. Run both of the cables. One is for power, one is for the switch. Obviously the large one is the power that runs to the battery and the small one is the switch that runs into the cab. Run it all the way along the firewall up there, the existing cables. Run the power all the way to the front here. You can see we've got our two fuses. That's tied into the battery. And then over here, we've got the negative coming off. Tied in right over here. Switch, I ran through the firewall, the cable. Mounted it up in here. Right with the other ones. As I said, I'm not using the ARB switch that came with it. This is an aftermarket switch that was easy enough to wire up. Turn it on. That fills up the manifold. And what you're hearing there isn't a leak, that's the fan running in the back, keeping it cool. Um, I've got it hooked up here. This, this is a nice, quick, easy connect and disconnect. I'm Connect 
it nice and easy. And then we've got the hose running here. We've got it hooked up to the tire. And then here we've got the gauge. And you can see you can run it. It runs off of the compressor. Fills it up quite quickly. And then it also has a pressure release valve on the side here. You can reduce and control the pressure a little bit as needed. And bring it back down to 33. And there we go. Everything is hooked up, working nicely. And that's it for the end of our video for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Get out there and explore, but don't forget to tread lightly. Cheers.